Before I start the video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Bleakers22 and It's Dylan for being awesome supporters of this channel. Again, if you guys want a shout out, just let me know in the comments and make sure you're subscribed. What is up, it's Mickey here, and today we're going to be creating a pretty basic scroller game in Scratch. But before we do that, I would like to mention my account, which is A-I-R-F-A-N-F, -F, and it'd be awesome if you guys could follow me there. Also, um, in my previous tutorials, if you guys have problems, make sure to link your project in the comments. So if you share your project and then link it and uh, put the URL in the comments, I can actually check it out and it'd be much easier for me to help you because right now, um, honestly, it's kind of hard for me to understand your problems just by you guys describing it. So yeah, a bunch of you guys have been already doing that, but um, yeah, it's just something I mentioned. Uh, okay, anyways. So, we're going to create a new project. Uh, it's going to be a scroller game, as I mentioned. And it's actually going to be a, uh, like, so a scroller is basically where the background moves and you don't actually move. This is going to be on the X axis as well as the Y axis. So, yeah. Um, so, first of all, we're going to, um, well, we can create our costume. And I'm actually not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna try to do too much. But the goal is to make it a top-down view of your character, if that makes any sense. So basically, um, if you were a bird and you would be uh, looking at your character, how would it look, right? So um, I'm gonna draw my, uh, well, I'll just make him like a robot or something. I'm not sure, but. So obviously you're going to need the head, uh, you're going to need the, which I'm going to do with a different color, actually I can just keep it black, you're going to need the shoulders, so like that, and then you're going to need the feet, so obviously that's going to be a different color as well. <clears throat> so you guys can customize this as much as you want, um, I'm going to keep it uh, like kind of a gray scheme just so that um, you get that kind of robot-y feel. I'm not sure. All right. So I'm going to create a walking animation, which I'll explain to you guys as well. But for the eyes, uh, I'm actually going to change this to dark gray just because I think that seems nicer. And then we can just draw white eyes. So one there, one there. That looked kind of odd. Okay. We'll see. Anyways. Um, but yeah, just fill it in with that. Uh, and then... I'm actually going to change the color of the, there we go, but I want to keep it like somewhat in between the two grays. So these are the arms. If you guys can kind of see what I'm seeing, it looks like that's his head. It's a little bit too big, but um, yeah. And if we just increase this with this tool, yeah, like that, then uh, we can try to get him to a good size. So I think that seems okay. Uh, I think his head is a little bit too big still. So, um, I can just change that really quickly. But, um, uh, I wouldn't want to do that, just, just for the tutorial's sake. So, basically, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and then use the eraser tool to erase this part. And then add that, if, if it makes sense, I'm going to add that to his other foot. So, it kind of seems like his right foot is up right now. And then what we can do is we can just duplicate this, and then duplicate this, and and then just flip that. So that was a little bit fast, so I'll just go and explain it. This is the natural state. This is the right foot forward, goes back to its natural, and then you have the left foot forward. So yeah, and you can see how this looks just by quickly doing this forever. Uh, and then in looks, we're gonna do next costume, and then wait about, uh, definitely less than a second, but like, so that's way too fast. 0.1, that's a little bit still too fast, so 0.3, 0.2. Okay, 
All right, so 0.2 looks nice, um, but yeah. So we're not gonna need this right now. But in the code, we're gonna do a forever, and then an if. If the key right is pressed, then do a certain thing, which is going to be in our data. We're actually gonna make a variable called scroll x, and another variable called scroll y. So in this, we're gonna be setting the scroll y to zero at the very start, scroll x to zero, and basically the scroll x is gonna be our x-axis, so this way, so how the character moves this way, and the y is this way, and you guys probably know that by now, but uh, just in case you don't, that was just a brief explanation. So when the character presses right, we're actually gonna wanna change the x, right? Because that's the horizontal axis. So change scroll x by, let's do, um, well, we can actually cre create another variable, player speed. So we can set player speed to, uh, I think four in this case, um, but change, yeah, by player speed. And then also uh, broadcast next costume, next costume. And I think that's it for right now for the right arrow, but we can just change everything to the left arrow. So left, and then we just multiply it by negative one to go the other way. And then we also broadcast next costume. Then for the up and the down. And then we can just change that as well. So for this, all we're gonna need to do is just change scroll Y. And here, uh, that's it. Okay, so now I created that message, uh, the broadcast the message, which means it'll basically send a signal. So you can do when I receive next costume. So that means when I receive next costume, which is being called every single time you hit one of the keys. Then obviously, like I mentioned, next costume, wait 0 0.2 seconds. 0 0.2, okay. So let's see if that looks nice, but uh, so you can see the scroll X is moving up here. And then, um, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot to do point in direction. So right arrow, point in direction 90. Left arrow, point in direction negative 90. Uh, up, point in direction zero. And then obviously the last one, which is 180, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Um, wait a sec. Oh, okay, I see, what, I see what's going on. All right. Um, basically, what's happening is, let's see if there's an easier way to fix it. But there isn't. Okay, that's all right. So basically, what's happening is my costume should be facing right, even though it's facing forward. And that's what's kind of glitching out the game. So we're going to want to change this to uh, down. This might not make any sense. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, like it's kind of confusing to actually process it but like left arrow would be up uh, up arrow would be right and down arrow would be left so if, th I, if if that makes any sense to you guys then yeah just tell me but yeah okay so when i receive costume wait 0 0.2 seconds and the next costume i don't know why that isn't working all right let's try this one more time Uh, oh, did I? Next costume. I should probably just put the next costume there. All right, let's try this again. That looks better. And then we can just change it to 0 0.01. I don't know if that's better. Okay, cool. Okay, um, that's, I don't know why it's not working, but Let's see. Next costume, wait 0 0.1 second. Oh, uh, well, we should actually put that there. Okay. Anyways, for now, um, we'll leave that, but uh, in the future, I'm going to have to fix that. All right. Anyways, we're just going to disconnect this so that it doesn't work and switch the default to that. So now we're gonna create our first obstacle. Well, actually before that, we're gonna go into stage and just put in a green that's gonna look 
like grass in this game. And let's make it light green. That I like this green much better. It's kind of like um very, very uh it like catches your eye, but that's all right. Um and then again I'm gonna draw something. I don't know what I'm gonna draw in this case, but we can draw a. Let's see, we can draw a uh a tree. We could do that. That'd be pretty easy. So if we just this is gonna be really bad. I'm sorry guys, but yeah, if we just try drawing a tree I don't know if this even like looks half like a tree but um yeah just gonna use pixel art for this and then here we are going to use a darker green to make it give that like different effect and then we are just gonna fill it in here Fill the other one in here. And then we want a third one just to finish off the tree, which we can use a darker, the darkest green. That'll look fine. So put that there and then kind of just fill it up. That looks terrible, but it's all right. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna, um, when we, when flag is clicked, the first code in this is going to be um, change a uh, set size to, we can do 500%. Obviously the tree has to be bigger than the actual robot, so 700. That looks fine, okay. So basically, um, this is not really good top-down view, but if, I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit. Like all your art should be in the top-down kind of view. So this one's not very good, but um, yeah, we can just try that. So the code is actually pretty simple. Uh, compared to what you might have thought. So forever set X to plus to scroll X plus to scroll X. And then you're gonna make a variable, but you want this to be for this sprite only. So you need to make sure that's there, otherwise this won't work. And the variable name is gonna be uh, X or yeah, let's just do starting X. So set, uh, and it's gonna be plus starting X. And then the same thing for the Y as you might have guessed. Set Y to um, scroll Y plus starting Y. So uh, like we did before, it needs to be for the sprite only. Only then will it work. So starting, whoops, starting Y. So then um, we're gonna put starting Y right here. And then, yeah, so set starting Y here. I'll just show you guys, I'll explain this in a bit. So now this is gonna be your position. So uh, you can place this anywhere right now. You can see that it's negative 93 and negative 12. So that's where it's gonna start. We can set it to, uh, let's do 100, 100, just for simple coordinates. And that should work. So if I press left, okay, so we kind of have it um, a little bit weird. Um, oh, I, I know why. So this should be switched with this. And then same thing for the up and the down. So all I did there was I basically switched the times one to the top and put the regular one down here. And now you can see that it, it works and it looks actually really nice. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty nice. And obviously I'm gonna add another one. So we can just duplicate this and then uh, let's make it a building. So clear it, put uh, building, what color should we put? Let's put blue, dark blue. And then just put that, let's make it pretty big like that, fill it in and then put text saying building. So building, make it black, shrink it down. So obviously this is like terrible. You guys wouldn't want to just put building on it, but I'm just using this for the sake of the actual game. And then building would go there. We wouldn't set to 700, obviously, maybe 100 would be fine. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, 100 is a little bit small, 300. And then we could set the starting Y to, we don't want it to be the same as the tree because then it won't work. 
but starting y should be, uh, let's put it on the opposite side, so negative 200 and then 200. So now you can see that, oh look, we have a building and we have a tree that moves together. There is one slight problem though, and it's very, uh, you can fix it in an easy way and a hard way. So as you can see, if we were to leave the, the trees, it's like still in the corner for some reason, right? And even though you're moving and even if you press right arrow, you won't find it until the scroll X works, but it kind of just goes off to this edge or this edge or this edge, whichever way you go. So there's two ways to uh, fix this problem. One of them, which is probably what I would do just to make it easy is set this here and then put this right there. Or just basically what I'm doing is creating a edge so that you can't see the thing. All right, this that's a little bit too small too. How about this? Let's see. I think this should be a little bit better. Okay, so if we set this to uh, position zero, zero, just say go to zero, zero, and then go to front, because it's gonna be the most front and most thing. So we just had it one flat plucked there. That should fix our problem. I know it doesn't look that pretty. Oh, okay, that won't work either, I guess. Um, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna make it thicker, actually. Okay. There we go, that's gonna work now. So you can kind of see that it's kind of gone now. And yeah, so that's pretty That's pretty nice scrolling game we got here. Um, if you guys want me to do a part two where I kind of explain obstacles and stuff, so right now you can go to the th through the tree, which is not very good. Um, but if this video does do well, and if you guys hit that like button, subscribe, comment that you want the part two, obviously I can add that in for you and um, I can make another video and just add more things. And then if you guys want, we can add like uh, little turrets that look at him and shoot every so often. But that's only um, if you guys kind of like this video. So like this video, uh, make sure you share it with your friends, subscribe, and let me know if I should do a part two. Thanks for watching. Peace out.